let's talk about the fine art of worrying. For I am a Jedi master at worrying. I'm really good at it. See, I think genetically it's encoded that I can go from zero to panic in about 60 seconds on any issue. And the question is, why do we worry so much about things? Because we worry about the craziest things, right? These little insignificant things and then suddenly they blow up in our mind. We've talked about it before. It's that fear of not experiencing something, so we worry about it. We worry about what somebody's gonna say, what somebody's gonna think, what somebody's gonna do. Look, it's hard to stop it. I'm not doing a video to have you suddenly learn the master rich of how not to worry, because we're always gonna worry. Because you're human, and you care. And you care about things, and you care about people, and because of that, you're going to be concerned, and you might Mix up worrying with being concerned, worrying with being compassionate, worrying with being empathetic towards somebody's needs. But can't solve them all. So one step to look at worry is when you start to worry and panic about something, well, let's get back to worry. You start to worry about something, I've mentioned it many times, write it down. Commit it to paper so you can look at it in its raw form. Maybe ask yourself, what am I actually worried about? Better yet, when you start to worry and you feel the panic come on, a great thing you could do is start to think about how you can make it better. Think about an outcome that's different than worry. If I'm worried that I'm gonna get pulled over for a ticket, maybe think about the drive all the way without even getting pulled over. See, so we start to change our focus in our mind, the worry starts to dissipate. It actually works great for anxiety as well. But just keep that in mind. So there is a fine art to worrying, and there's a fine art to caring, and understand both.